Well, I appreciate you coming through this morning, man. How you feeling? I feel all right, your boy. So we got a lot of work going on here, my brother. How long has this been going on? Well, I've been going on for a while. Like, I've been in the hospital a lot. Uh-huh. And I just, I got in the rock thing. Uh-huh. I never just, just didn't take care of him. Okay. What's your neuropathy stem from? Uh, liver transplant. The liver transplant? Okay. Yeah. You said the liver transplant was how long ago now? 2013. 2013. So it's been about 11 years now. Yeah. And so it looks like you have a pretty good fungal infection here, brother. So we're going to get that all taken care of. Okay. And you just moved down here to D.C. recently? Yeah. A few months ago. A few months ago. Okay. Well, welcome, man. Once again, welcome to D.C. Has uh, anyone else tried to tackle these for you? No, no. Even no. before you moved down here? Well, I went one time. Uh-huh. But he was so close, he cut me. Okay. And I got a... Uh, uh, um, um, Got what? I'm anemic. Anemic, okay. So once he did that, I ain't been back. And how long ago was that? A few years ago. A few years ago? Okay. Well, what we're doing here today, my friend, is uh, taking samples of your nails. I'm going to send them to the lab to see which fungus is causing this issue. And because you're, you've had a liver transplant and you're on anti-rejection medication, right? right? The topical medications that deal with this are not good for you. You're not a good candidate for those. Okay. All right? And reason being, because those medications are cleared from the body by the liver. And we don't want to tax the liver any more than, than it is, okay. especially considering that uh, you're on all these medications, you've had a liver transplant, and we don't want things to go backwards. So there are some topical medications that will help with this once we know what the organisms are. You know, have you tried anything at home? No. No? Okay. Now, do any of these nails cause you any uh, discomfort, any pain when you try to put on shoes or anything? Well, yeah. Well, I said, I got neuropathy, I don't feel uh -huh. that much. Okay. But my feet are always numb. Gotcha. But I'm feeling it now. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. You got quite a bit of buildup under here as well. Well, it's good that you're. So you came down and moved in with your sister? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm So how was that process of getting put on the uh, the liver transplant? It was it was trying. Mm hmm Because for a while they, they wouldn't do it because of my insurance. Okay. So I, I was on the list for the longest time until I got better insurance. Mm hmm And all of a sudden it was a liver. Okay. So how long were you on the list at that time? Almost two years. Wow. But that's actually, I mean, that's a long time. I'm not going to uh, try to I discount should. that. But there's, I know there's, there's been people on, on transplant lists for a significantly long time, even longer than that. Right, but as soon as I got the other insurance, uh -huh. they found a little. Okay. <laughs> <Seems like it. laughs> Amazing, right? Yeah. 
But I started going septic. Okay. okay. So he was in that and everything. All right, now. You have quite a bit of work on this big toe here. Does this hurt? Are you able to put shoes on this foot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what this is called is a ram's horn. Okay. All right. I call glyphosis medically, but a ram's horn nail. Because it looks like the yeah, horn on the ram's head. So have you found a um, a primary doctor here since you moved here? No, she was going to the one I was to go to. But I ain't been to one yet. Okay. I was going ah, mm -hmm. back and forth to Jersey. Mm -hmm. But I'm starting to be too, too stressful. Yeah, too stressful. I got you. All right, now we're going to work on this bad boy right here. Okay. So we're going to take a little bit at a time instead of trying to take it all at once. If it's too much for you, if it's too uncomfortable, you let me know. So a lot of those the medications used for transplant rejection uh, they affect the immune system, right? Okay. So people are also at higher risk of developing these types of infections as well as any other type of infection. I'm sure okay. your transplant team told you that. That you have to be careful yeah. about catching the colds, about getting the flu, yeah. about you know making sure you don't get COVID and all that other kind of stuff. Right. I mean, having had the transplant now for 13 years and been on those medications for 13 years, um, did, you, did you have any problems with those type of infections? No, I had COVID. Okay. But they put me on some medication. Uh -huh. I went to the doctor, so I didn't just, mm -hmm. I didn't just sit home with it. Gotcha. Were you hospitalized at all? Mm, for, yeah. the for COVID? Yeah. What did they do for you then? Just gave me some medication. Okay. And kept an eye on me for okay. about a week. So you didn't have to be put on a ventilator or anything like no, that? No, I didn't get that far. Okay. Saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah, wait till you see what goes in the bag. Mm. Doing all right? Still taking it piecemeal here. Yeah, I'm still hanging there. Okay. Okay. 
Right. Starting to take shape here. I <laughs> also want it to feel better, my brother. Okay. Let's cure out the rest of this now. Yeah, so I've, I've seen this issue develop mm -hmm. after transplants, after folks have uh, been on chemotherapy, right. all these different things and medications that cause a decrease in the immune response. So it's easier for these things to take off. And then, you know, being a, a, a transplant patient and having a tracheotomy, like you have, you know, getting down, taking care of your feet on your own, I'm sure it's very difficult. Yeah, it's, it's difficult, sir. Because I ain't, I ain't thin like I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and that I had another problem. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's get everything uh, smoothed out, filed down here now, okay? Okay. See so yeah, all that would send to the lab? Wow. Yeah, right? This is more than they need, but it's better to have too much than not enough. Yeah. Yeah. So I cleaned up. How are we feeling, man? Feel good, sir. Absolutely. You look much better. Save a lot of socks. Yeah. <laughs> Save a lot of socks. We've been going through a lot of socks. A lot of socks. I want to save you on your sock bill. That's for yeah, sure. Definitely. Okay. Uh, like I said earlier, it's going to take about two weeks for the lab to get back to me. Okay. Give me the final report on what's going on with the mail. All right. And uh, when I get that report in my hand. We'll reach out to you and give you a call. Okay. So we can go over it and see which way we're going to treat it again. Okay. You know, the, the best route for you is a topical route. Apply it directly to the toenails. Okay. All right. And to help deal with this. Now, when we're dealing with toenail fungus topically, it takes much longer. Okay. All right. So even the best topical medication for this is going to take, going to take a long time. Wow. Yeah. Some folks, it takes up to even a year. Is going to come back then? No, 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 that's what you'll constantly be under treatment. Okay. And then you'll be coming to see me every two or three months. Gosh. Okay? All right? Putting the shea butter on you here. Deal with the dry skin. All right. We talked about, uh, you know, moisturizing your skin daily. Right, twice a day. Twice a day, in your case. Because, again, with the neuropathy, what you're experiencing, because of everything you dealt with with, the, with your liver treatment and your transplant and everything, one of the side effects is that is dry skin, of the, particularly of the legs okay. and the feet. So you got to be pretty active in doing that. If it's hard for you to get down to do it yourself, I'm sure your sister, uh, since you're here now, you're more than willing to chip in and make sure that that happens. Thank you, God. You got it. Right now. Like a new man. Hey man, new, new man. Everything starts from the bottom, baby. Yes, sir. All right. I'm glad. Right. Hey, it's looking great here, man. Thank you, sir. You're very well. You got your feet back? Got my feet back. Yes, sir. And again. <laughs> Welcome to DC, man. Welcome to DC, buddy. Thank you, sir. You got Thank it, buddy. You. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your family and friends and ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. If you have any of the issues in this video or any of my other videos, see a podiatrist as soon as possible. But most importantly, take care of your feet.